Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here, and thank you so much for tuning in. Our vieja cichlid gave us quite a scare and uh, taught us a bit of a lesson the other day. None of the fish in my 90-gallon cichlid tank had jumped, even though the tank is uncovered, just a rimless, uncovered tank. So I was starting to think, well, maybe these fish are just not jumpers. Well, lo and behold, the fish... Uh, jumped up against the corner of the tank and it swept him right out of the tank and he fell right in front of my wife and I as I was showing her how to feed the fish while I'm away for a couple days. Uh, naturally, this was quite, a, quite startling, but I'm glad it happened when it did because we were able to just scoop him right up and uh, put him right back in the tank but it told me I needed to head out immediately and locate uh, a way to uh, put a cover on that tank that was going to do the job. And uh, so on, on the road, I went off to a local hardware store and I tried several of them and uh, none of them really could, could provide what I needed uh, until I, I finally was able to hook up with Lowe's which was a little bit of a drive, but um, but as you know, I don't I don't mind driving around Tennessee. I actually kind of enjoy it, and as you can see, it's pretty beautiful around here. I called around at different locations. Home Depot wouldn't custom cut for me, and uh, local hardware store didn't have the size I needed. Lowe's had the size and would custom cut for me. So it's definitely worth the trip. Let's go inside and uh, get a solution for my jumping fish. I considered several types of material, including uh, cut glass, but I came across this this material here, which was um, which was reported to be ten times stronger than glass, and had a thickness that I hoped wouldn't um, wouldn't actually sag into the water because of the size that I needed to cover up. I was concerned about things sagging. As you can see, this is, this is pretty sticks, uh, you know, pretty, pretty thick, and I'm hoping that, that it'll stay, you know, nice and stiff and, uh, and, and not fall into the tank. They custom cut the piece to the dimensions that I asked for and, um, and, and let me keep the spare pieces, and which I'm glad I did, as you'll see in, in a moment. So I loaded everything up in the truck, the custom cut piece and the spare pieces, and I headed home. Man, I feel pretty lucky that that vieja decided to jump while I was standing right in front of the, right in front of the tank. I was showing my wife how to feed the fish while I'm away on vacation. I'm going over to Aquashella, and the vieja jumps out of the tank, lands right in front of us. Haven't had a fish jump in that tank at all for weeks, and... Uh, Anyway, I just feel real lucky that we were right standing right there, saw it happen, put the fish back in the in the tank, and now I can come up with a solution before I go away. I would have hated to come back and see some of those fish dried up on the floor. Anyway, I was hoping they weren't jumpers, but I guess I was just being a little bit naive. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go home, put the cover on. The trip home was just as pretty, but as you can see, we started to get some drizzle. The reason it stays so beautiful and green around here is because we're always getting uh, storms. At least once every every couple of weeks, we get a we get a pretty good storm, and uh, keeps everything nice and clean and green. And I don't mind it at all. I actually like it. As you can see here, the uh, custom cut piece fit perfectly, right up to the hang on back filters, and right along the top edge of the tank, because it sealed it so so completely except for little corner spots i went ahead and put a couple air stones in just to make sure i'm getting enough oxygen in there and i had to use one of the spare pieces that they gave me as a center brace just to keep the whole thing nice and straight because it did it did slouch a little bit the fish that jumped was in a little bit of shock still kind of hanging around and just kind of recovering but the good news is by the time I, I left to go to the airport, he was swimming around and acting like himself again. So I think the viejas are going to be back to normal. And uh, I'm just really glad that uh, this vieja, actually the one that's, that's uh, 
still hiding underneath that driftwood when I filmed this. There he is on the left. This vieja gave us gave us the warning while we were standing there that this tank really needed to have a cover. A warning that probably saved his life and the life of probably some of the tank mates. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys and gals. And, uh, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.